Hello everyone, I'm Matt Dret, and I'm going to be showing you how to get a drop ship in game. So, I'm going to go through all the steps from animating the drop ship to dropping off the actual troops in game. So, I'm going to be using custom animations. As you know, there's two ways to do this, recorded animations and custom animations. Custom animations are probably the easiest way. Uh, recorded animations take a lot of setup, a lot of time to actually execute correctly, and they're a big pain. So I always just run custom animations, but some people might enjoy the benefits of recorded animations, such as they're typically less glitchy, and their collision isn't as messed up as custom animations can be sometimes. So, first thing we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to import a uh, dropship. So, let me go import a dropship here. Alright, now that we've got our dropship imported, that is a beautiful dropship. Um, we're just going to take the frame here, Boop. frame, and we're going to move it, uh, we're going to switch to local here, we're going to move it, press E to rotate, rotating with snap on, um, so got to find a place to hide this right now, so it doesn't necessarily actually have to be in the PSP, so we can like hide it here if we want, we can come up over here, drop troops off in the center and then come out to the other side so I think that'll be fine so let's turn auto key on let's key it there this is frame root that I'm keying because if you frame the object you might as well just freeze that there's no point it's not, it's not going to be much that's going to happen um, we can shut these doors here if we want so press E to rotate make sure you're on local Make sure you have angle snap on. And then you want to rotate these up 75 degrees until they're shut. Do these with both doors. So it's 75 degrees until they're shut. You can uh, use line animations too to animate this. I, uh, I tend not to use line animation, but uh, I'm not going to be showing how to use line animation, but you can easily Google or YouTube how to use line animation. You essentially can create a line path and then just have just say hey dropship follow the path um, so it's pretty easy but I'm gonna choose the harder way cuz I hate easy things so we literally just want to move this dropship into position over the course of how many ever frames we want to do So let's say it's going to come around here, let's turn it, lower it, make sure it's still moving on every axis, uh, it's a little high to the ground, um, you can always tilt it downward I guess, it's a bit awkward but it'll do, let's change this to shaded, let's also Look at that back face. So it comes in, comes over the cliff, blah, blah, blah and then drops down. This is a very rough animation. I do not expect to be making a Blood Gulch mod anytime soon. And then it's going to rise back up. Turn, head back up, it's going to fly away over the cliffs, and then fly away till it disappears. So I can play that back. 
see how bad the timing is, fix any timing issues we may need. Uh, that's pretty quick. <laughs> um, we can mess around with the hover there while it hovers there. Always like ha add a little shake to it. So let's make the 600. But this was pretty quick. Um, this yeah, probably come down a bit right here. Good enough. Da -da -da. Oh, add a little shake. Oh, let's turn the snap off. Add a little shake. Boom. Comes back up. Flies away. So then it lands at 260, raises back up at 340. So next thing we can do is go and actually mess mess with these doors. So let's see, we are going to about at 220. I think we can start opening the doors. 220, 240. So 240, they're completely open. Nah, let's make it 200. They start opening at 240, they're completely open. So once again, we're on local. We'll open these by 75. We'll make sure the snaps on 75. Hundred two forty, and then we'll close them off at three forty. Just holding shift to copy the frame over, and three eighty. See three forty, three eighty. This comes down. Doors open. Doors close, takes off. This can be applied to anything, so pelicans, whatever you need. So I'm just gonna hide everything that's not the object that I'm exporting. I don't need to hide this object since it's not a frame. Uh, it won't even export as an animation because it's not a frame. So I just need to use CAD animation exporter. I use the compact version and then we will simply throw it in data blood gulch we'll call this C dropship make a folder called animations in that and then simply just name it what you want switch it to JMW which is world relative so it will animate to the BSP no matter where you place it, and then we'll just name it one. It'll animate. Let's open up tool. OS tool animations. Where do we save that? Levels, test, blood, gulch, C, dropship. So let's go to our little animation file that we created. We're going to scroll down there. We're going to open up the vehicle file now. We're going to go to vehicle, C dropship, C dropship dot vehicle. We're going to open up the vehicle model. The node list checksum. If you're using non OS, you have to use Corman's version of Gorilla. Or if you're using OS, it should automatically be unlocked. Node list checksum goes and pastes that into the animation node list checksum. Make sure that's world relative. And then we're essentially all set from there. Next thing to do is to actually script it. Once again, it does not like that I'm recording. So I'm going to have to do this without open sauce. I don't know if I'll be able to. Please open. All right. Cool. So I'm going to name this as... Blood Gulch Ultimate Dropship Mod XXX. Make it a solo. We'll place the player right there in the center. And then let's get rid of all these vehicles. The only vehicle we need is 
the C dropship. So let's go to vehicles, C dropship, C dropship. Add, okay. Let's go to automatic, automatically not place. We'll name this just C dropship. Next, let's go into our data. Levels, tests, blood glitch, blood, blood glitch. We'll go to scripts. Notepad. And then we're going to save this as an Halo scripting file. So scripts.hsc, all files, save. S script, startup, dropship. So we're going to do object create a new C dropship, object teleport C dropship to one play. Now we're going to go to create a new flag for one play. And this helps with clipping um, depending on what view you're looking at. So I would recommend absolutely teleporting your dropship to a frame. For sure do that. Um, Sometimes you can sleep one. Let's just go to custom animation right away. So custom animation C dropship and then just put in our animation levels. Test blood gulch C dropship C dropship one one Next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our AI. Active variants. Do two characters, elite. And everyone will be an elite miner. Create a new encounter. We're going to name this AI. AI, AI, AI. Not initially placed, covenant. Hide these off somewhere where the player won't see them. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's <laughs> make six of them. Six elites coming out of this dropship. Whatever, six of those. Firing positions, that makes sense. These make a lot of sense. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to AI place AI. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste scripts from elsewhere. Vehicle load magic. Oops, gosh. <laughs> See dropship passengers left. Is that what that is? Yeah, passenger. Let's go passenger. And then what? AI. And then I'm going to copy the exiting. <laughs> and I'm going to essentially copy it all the way to the end. Copy. Um, need to make sure that my vehicle name is correct on this. And then I'll, I'll provide these scripts, but I always just copy and paste this, this script. So I do not have it memorized because I always just copy and paste it. This last script gets the custom animation time and then deletes the dropship once it's done with the animation. So this looks pretty good. As of right now, we can compile scripts. And then compile the map, I guess. So funny thing, this crashes in game. So I'm just gonna show you that it does work. Uh, in Sapien, so teleport, custom animation, and then there it is.
little clipping issue. Yep, there you go. It's working. There it goes. Sometimes when you get clipping issues like that, you may need to uh, turn your bounding radius and render radius up which sometimes can make it so it actually doesn't appear unless it's playing, unless you teleport to a flag first. So if you're still getting clipping issues even after teleporting to a flag, increase these, still teleport to the flag, but that should fix it from there. Or use recorded animations, but I'm not, I'm not showing that because that's hard. 